Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. at the lobby checking out and I hear this big shot producer from GNN on the phone with an agency desperate to get a cameraman for an interview with Claus Hugo Strandberg. 
Dranberg, the, the banker. Do you ever watch the news? Anyway, I tap him on the back, show him my press pass, and the guy is so relieved that he just pays me a month's salary up front. Of course I'm not gonna do it. No way I'm getting near that place. Besides, I've got all this nice free Nice to money, see you, sir. And the dunce doesn't even uh. know my real name. Would you believe I said my name was Finley? It's right. It's so I'm a strong person down here in the star. Whenever you see me, yeah, come and join me, okay? Focus on me. Greetings. Do you have an invite? Uh, sir, you're gonna have to stand back. This area is off limits. Uh, Glad we speak the same higher. language, sir. Makes my job a lot easier. right now laughing his ass off. <laughs> oh man, that is so like Jeff. But come on. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Wise choice. You look like a reader. And a good day to you, sir. Salam. Or an ideology that I can sympathize Well, he rejects the failed political dogmas of today. Democracy doesn't work. It's a powerhouse that fuels Joy, the sir. bubbles bursting like a leap year. So you don't believe in democracy? Oh, no, no, no. I do. I, I believe in it. I just don't believe in what it's become. A shield. A cover of corruption. And I can't tell... <gasps> Pardon you. Okay, what's... No problem. The hell are Crystal Dawn? All right there. That's about? okay. It didn't hurt. Crystal Dawn. That's an Eastern African problem. What? Haven't you seen the leaflets lying around? Hey, what's up? Father. Doing well. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs. Carry right on. Now, working hey, on recruit. Can I come through here, sir? Please stop and go back. You know, airport lift. Good. Oh, that's nice. Good. So he doesn't miss the old school. Well, he was headmaster for 30 years. Still carries around the master key. Uh, it's all locked. It's a beautiful apartment. Thanks. 
But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer. The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. Sparta commits the agency in protest. Three years later, Nick works as a freelance security advisor in Egypt. However, when a dying Interpol agent hands him a badly damaged you... Oh, sorry, sir. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Good to see you, soldier. Sorry, but I don't know you. What are you up to? this turd on you, but I've been waiting six months for this transfer, and I'm not about to don my cape just because Orlando made an asshole decision. What is he thinking, keeping Strandberg under his protection? Anyway, in case of a security breach, all VIPs rendezvous at the underground garage and take emergency tunnel B to a shop downtown where they'll remain until escort arrives. Any questions? When the security alarm sounds, Strandberg has been instructed to rendezvous with a team of Zaydan soldiers at the underground garage. Apparently, a secret tunnel runs between the consulate and a shoe shop downtown. This is how the banker plans to escape the building unnoticed. I suggest you locate that shop, 47. This could be a way inside the consulate, not to mention a chance to lure Strandberg into the open. Thank you, Lad. And stay safe up. Howdy, Trevor. Oh, you want a hat? Sir, I'm sorry, this is a restricted area. Smart move. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, soldier. Yeah, that's unfortunately not gonna work. Can't let you through here. I need to see an invite. Sir, you can't be here. Busting your ass for tips, huh? Hey, uh, any free tables? <laughs> Welcome, sir. Hmm. Push me again and see what happens. I'm getting drunk the second my shift's over. Take it from me, my friend. Stay off the tuna.
hopefully. Yeah, you keep doing that, you'll end up sleeping with the fish. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Canadian circus, okay? Enough is enough. Okay, remember, Pam. Hey, you're allowed to apologize, you know. At your age, man. What are you, 46, 48? Excuse me. Hey! Hey, you're being weird. Pack it in. Thank It's a disgrace, letting the mentally deranged out in the streets. Did I just say that? Wow, that is so fascist. God, I'm getting old. I'm glad we could sort this out without violence. What? Welcome. My you are not normal. Act your age, man. As he addresses this gathering crowd of the fire politicians. Hey, crazy man, stop that. Sir, what you are doing is not illegal per se. But you look kind of no. I'm not giving the trolls the satisfaction. Oh, so many cameras here today. Problem, you sir. Come on in. Come in, good. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. I watch your show all the time. You're even more lovely in the flesh. <laughs> and this is uh, Tyler Clark, producer. And this is our cameraman Finley. Tyler and Finley, splendid. Well, <clears throat> let's do this, shall we? Where do you want me? Uh, the light is nice over here. Not that I want to tell you boys how to do your jobs, good heavens. Well, right here is fine, Mr. Stramberg. Sit down, make yourself comfortable, and we'll be ready in no time. Oh, no, no, please, please. Call me Klaus. Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're ready. Camera rolling. Hey. When you got a sec, think you could do something about the lights? Upstairs somewhere? Thanks, bud. Access to the consulate and first row seats for the interview. Nicely done, 47. to these accusations. Well, I can only conclude that the Moroccan authorities must have misunderstood their own legislation. Misunderstood? How do you mean? None of those transactions were illegal. Everything was done in strict accordance with Moroccan law. Now, you might call it a loophole. You might call it creative bookkeeping. But the law is the law, Mr. I am a firm believer in the law. Let me get this straight, Mr. Stamberg. 
You are openly admitting to taking this money. Oh, Lord. Whoa. Target down. Next up, raises a dance. Let me tell you a little story. Wealthy, of course. With whom he had a daughter. It's not good, the man. Come in. Sir, not good. Uh, I'm here. Sense. He filed for divorce shortly after the birth of his What's going on? Trouble? Command area is clear. Please advise. That's far enough, buddy. Calling in, calling in. Hello? We've got a shitload of bodies over here. Someone's got Manson on us. Nope, nothing yet. Nice and quiet. Show yourself, you pussy! Not right now, please. What? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Salute, soldier. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so... What'd he do, poor bastard? Way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the mercs attacked Strandberg's prison transport this morning. So he, uh, he got cold feet. Tried to blow the lid on the whole operation. Uh, 
Not smart. According to the soldiers, the condemned prisoner in the cell was a close friend of Zaydan. However, when his brother, a Marrakesh police officer, was killed during Strandberg's breakout, the prisoner decided to betray Zaydan and go public. Alas, he was caught before he could thwart the coup d'etat. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. So what do you do, prisoner? Uh, never you mind. General Zaydan says the man's a traitor and that's all there is to the whole feet about the operation. Try to rat us out. Ask the captain. Still on guard duty, huh? Yep. Hey. Strike the fear of God into men and charm the knickers off most women. But you and I both know Reza Zayn is no mastermind. Oh, <laughs> you're preaching to the choir. Second, that Zayden is masterminding this coup by himself. Come on. Salute, soldier. Okay. I have nothing to report from my current location. Nothing in my position. Show your pretty mug. We'll find you eventually. 
Don't bother wasting our time, pal. He's there! Over! have the smarts. You can strike the fear of God in the man. Reza Zayt is no mastermind. <laughs> You're not wrong, that's for sure. No, but really. I mean, this whole man's man attitude. Deep, booming voice and chest hair, right? Come on. Everyone knows Zayden is just an upper-class flop. His dad was Secretary of State, and his family's practically royalty. The only way this guy was not going to become general was if he took a dump on the flag. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. Seriously, though, you believe for a second that Zayden is masterminding this clue by himself? Come on. He doesn't have the smarts. You can strike the fear of God into men and charm the knickers off most women. But you and I both know Reza Zayden is no mastermind. Huh. You hit the nail on the head. I mean, sure, Zayden does date some beautiful women. I'll give him that. And they sure seem to flock around him with his chiseled Omar Sharif jaw. Do you see that model he's dating? I'd like to line up for some of that. But they're... Uh, what? The, uh, intercom? It's, uh, on. <gasps> oh, God. You don't think? I don't know. You were kind of using your...
That is General Reza Zaydan, keeper of the peace. Disrespect your superiors without consequences? Shame on you. I should have you both court-martialed. Now get back to your posts. Sir, I... Uh, we... Uh, not one word. I'll deal with you later. Oh, nice job, man. Real. Nice. is no mastermind. <laughs> You're not wrong, that's for sure. I tell you, I don't care what anyone says, that Zayden's not all he's cracked up to be. He likes to pretend that he's solid or something, but he's just a guy with a shiny uniform and an ego to match. You got that right. Oh, uh, no. please forgive me, sir. That is General Reza Zaydan. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Command securing scene down. What the? Like you've done hey. something you should, am I right? Stop moving now. But I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the fate
failed coup in Morocco. The ether virus. Someone knows about us. There is a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was there? Money? <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives, like you. Take a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> <laughs>